Hi, I'm Dinelle and welcome to Craze. We have a great show today tackling the real issue of I'm dropping out of school. We have our guest expert Charmaine Blue from the Drop Back In Academy and personal stories from her guests Lubins Ben Ami and Paige Bird. But before we get to that, we bring to the stage husband and wife team Rico and Chantel Morissette of One Performing Nobody. Father God, you're so magnanimous. All the praise goes to you. I'm just a two, I don't want none of it. Cause I don't need that. I show you love and respect. Ain't nobody like you, you're the greatest, and I mean that. If I had a million tracks, I couldn't write a million songs. It wouldn't be enough. So I praise an unfamiliar tongue. And they look at me crazy as I'm familiar to them. But I serve a God that's amazing. I gotta hey, hallelujah to the Lord the Most High. He opened up my eyes in the midst of my demise. And the mess that I despise is the mess he took away. So lest I slip astray, I keep a praise on my mind. Cause the praise on my lips don't mean nothing if my heart's gone. Let my life song sing. Something like a rock song. Hey, hey, cause in my rock the stronghold in the day of trouble. And you're the truth and unto you, oh Lord, there is no trouble. I'm trying, nobody like this. Oh, you know, can hear the blind. I was made to magnify in excellence you because you're excellent too. and your magnitude is infinite. Yet my words say the least, but what can I speak to add to you or your endlessness? Nothing I can think of fine can simplify or sum you up. All I got is simple rhymes. I simply try to show you love because you show me that it's unconditional. Yeah, your love, it drowns me. I'm sunken into you. The simple things you do adds a why I call you faithful. I call you just, I call you true. I call, I call you more than neighbor. And you call me friend, and for that I'm more than thankful. Yeah, you call me in to sell, but you, you sit, sit at the table. table. And you're breaking bread by your word, I'm, I'm daily fed. fed. I love you, Lord, with all my strength, just, just like King David, David said. And you have made me glad, Father God, to awesome man. Excuse, Excuse the expression, but Father God, you're off the chain. I'm the wide, I done tried. Ain't nobody like this. Who you know? When we come back, we'll be sitting down with our guests to talk about dropping out of school and still to come, another performance by one. Internet television, the wave of the future has begun. It's here. It's free. It's awesome. It's ministry. It's DoersTV.com. Doing TV God's way. Visit today at DoersTV.com. A one-of-a-kind internet TV network with 21 channels of unique Christian programming at the click of a mouse. Go to DoersTV.com and be blessed with Christian reality TV 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. Visit DoersTV.com today. Welcome back. We're talking today about I'm dropping out of school and how this very real issue is still affecting our young people today and our society. We have wonderful guests with us today. Thank you all for being here. We have Charmaine Blue, and you work with Drop Back In Academy as well as Alternatives Unlimited Incorporated, correct? Yes. We also have Paige Bird, mm -hmm. and then we have Lubins Bien Ame, and you both have actually worked through Drop Back In Academy, is that correct? Yes. yes. That is wonderful. I'd actually mm -hmm. like to start with you, Lubins, and have you just share your personal story 
Um, from the beginning, how did you end up dropping out of school? Going through so many family problems, work, and I just got tired of being in the atmosphere, always dealing with a lot of people who always want to play and joke around in class. And then stop going to school, start working, and then my mom kept telling me I need to go back to school, family telling me I need to go back to school. So my mom found the school. I went there. I did my best. While I was there, I found my girlfriend. I have a son. Wow. He's nine months now. Wow. Um, so you literally went through the choice of you, you, you were facing the elements at school because you're not the only one. I'm sure there's many of our viewers who are in school now and they're feeling the same way. People don't take it seriously. People are joking around and, and you just decided to choose work over school. Yeah. But how was that panning out for you? Was it valuable to drop out of school and just work or? No, because after a while I thought about it, I'm like, I'm not going to get an education. All I'm going to do is be stuck at a minimum wage job. And I could do better than that. So I went back to school. I thought about it. I graduated. I go to school now. I'm majoring in criminal justice. I want to go into forensic science. And I'm like, since I had my son, he even motivates me even more. Right. To just stay in school and better myself. Because when I, when he gets older, I want him to see what his father went through so he know what to do. What a great example you're going to be for your son. That's such a wonderful success story. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah. And Paige, you yourself, you're actually kind of in the midst of mm. your situation right now. Tell us a little bit about what happened with you. Well, what happened with me is I got caught up into boys, and then I started missing a lot of school and mm. stuff like that. And then, like, got into some arguments and stuff, and then it made me not want to go to school. Every time I see this guy, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I should go, you know? I just got so caught up into that, and then I realized that what am I doing? I have to get my life together because you have to be successful. That's one thing you really do, and I realized that, and I really want to get my life back together. I really do, uh -huh. and I plan on graduating really soon. Good. So <laughs> I now, really do. What? Where are you at in school now as far as um, mm -hmm. what level, at what point did you um, stop going to school? What grade were you in? I was in 11th grade when okay. I stopped going to school. So almost there, back. but then just got yeah. caught up in, you Guys. know. Guys. <laughs> yeah. And mm. you know what? That's that's very common for a lot of mm. young women out there. Right. That I'm sure there's many of our viewers who feel the same, and mm. maybe they're doing that right now and thinking, right. you know, well, this is better. And a lot of girls, they also get pregnant nowadays. Mm -hmm. I look good on myself because I'm not pregnant or anything like that, and I take good care of myself, you that's know? That's good, that's good. So that's one thing. Those are choices, right? Mm -hmm. It's all about choices. Mm -hmm. And so now you are going, you're in the drop back in academy, mm -hmm. and how soon will you um, be, graduating? be graduating? Next year. Awesome, mm -hmm. congratulations. Thank you good so much. for you. Well, thank you for coming on, both of you, because mm -hmm. you represent most of our viewers out there, right. different situations, scenarios, what's happening, you represent mm -hmm. them. So even you saw that you can change and make a better choice. Mm -hmm. um, Charmaine, you are actually working with, and you've, you've brought these young people here to share their stories. Yes. And how did you get involved with Drop Back In Academy? Um, I've actually been at working with at-risk children since probably 1990, maybe, mm -hmm. in different capacities and different positions. But when I recently moved to um, Florida mm -hmm. about a year ago, um, I was actually recruited in New York to come and join the company mm -hmm. um, because of my background. And um, it was just part of my passion just to help kids who are at risk. And um, I actually started working in the classroom and just, you know, just attached myself to some of these kids. You know, sometimes you hear their stories and they're very heart-wrenching stories. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, some kids come to school hungry. Some kids come to school, you know, and their parents are, are it's not the best home environment. It's not some, in a lot of cases, it's not even a, a safe home environment. Um, the youth today deal with a lot of different issues. They really know, a do. A lot of different issues. You know, we were really blessed younger, and when I was younger, not to have some of these issues to have to deal with. And know. such a change, isn't it, over yes. the decades, um, oh, yeah. just in the past 20 years, they say, right. just the drastic change of what our, our young generation faces right. on a daily basis, a stuff daily that basis. they should not even be seeing, right. let alone having to be smack in the middle of and dealing with and then make right choices. So tell us a little bit more about the Drop Back In program, because I'm sure some, sure. They're, they're not, you're, you're working in Orlando, Florida with the program, right. but they are also based 
elsewhere, is that yes, correct? Yes, we're based in eight different states, um, Alabama, Arizona, California, Florida, I'm sorry, I can remember them all, New, York, New Jersey, um, Missouri, Ohio, and Texas. Wonderful. Yes. Mm -hmm. So any of those who are out there who might be in those states as well can go on to the website yes. and find um, them and their locations and, and the information there. I'm sure also there's a lot of information available to just help people. Don't, didn't, you, didn't you say that there's a, another aspect of the program? Yes. Um, Alternatives Unlimited is the umbrella company. Right. And we have um, about four or five different um, aspects of the company. So there's the Drop Back In Academy, which are for um, kids who have dropped out of school to get them to drop back in and get their diploma, not their GED, but their actual high school diploma. Wow. And then there's the SES portion, which is the Supplemental Education Services, which is the tutoring aspect. So, And all of these are free to the students. All of these services are free to the students. Now, that's really important yeah. because oftentimes they think once they've made that decision, mm -hmm. right. you know, they don't, have an, they don't have an alternative. Or if they do, it's going to cost, and many don't have the, the funding fund. to do That's anything. Right. So That's this right. is free. Yeah, this, these are free. That's and, wonderful. And um, Drop Back In Academy is geared towards um, students of the ages of 16 to 21. The, okay. And the supplemental education services um, are geared towards anyone who's in need, so from elementary all the way up to high school. Wow. And then we have virtual programs, so that uh, if a child is unable to come to school, it may be for physical or health reasons. It could be, um, they could be on suspension, but mm -hmm. you know, they still are entitled to uh, an education. Um, and for whatever you know, reasons they're not able to come into the actual school facility. And then um, we have college and career programs. Um, so we help the, them to transition out of high school. Yeah, something Into that we're college. focusing on more so this year. So and that, that would be, Lubin's has yes. actually experienced that yes. transition, right? Yes, he's experienced that transition. And um, we've also, we're partnering with the various universities throughout the country to get our students in. You know, a lot of our students, you know, um, this, in New York City, when I worked in New York City, a lot of the students that I worked with um, were first year, first time college attendance in their families. Wow. But through Drop-In Academy, unfortunately in this country, we're dealing with first time high school graduates. Which you know. is, is really, you know, when I did my research for this, I, I was mm -hmm. very surprised to find out that every year 1.2 million students right. drop out of high school in yes. the United States. 1.2 million. Isn't that something? That is, that is astounding mm -hmm. to think so many young people are faced with, with that choice, be it, as, as they said, working or, you know, influences outside, and then you throw in everything else that they face, drugs, right. alcohol, partying, all these other things, unsafe homes. That's right. Um, it, and you even said that you target 16 to 21, and that was one of the things where it said by the time um, they are 18 to 24 years old, youth who have dropped out of high school are more likely to be neither employed nor enrolled in any school. That's right. And actually, the Department of Education did a report recently mm -hmm. um, where they found that up to 31% across the country, wow. that, uh, students are dropping out or failing out of school. Yes. 31% of our youth. And, and if it's a larger, a larger city like New York or Florida, it can be up to 50%, depending on the school district. Now, what can, besides, you know, programs like yourself and, mm -hmm. and young people just making the choices, what can we do, those of us even watching, what can oh, we do goodness. to try and better encourage continuing to stay in school? Why is this becoming such an easy option? I, I, we can do a lot. I, I think one of the things that, um, one of my roles with the company is to find mentors. Mm -hmm. I think, unfortunately, um, there is a generation um, of of parents that have failed their children, mm. you know, and we can do a lot. We, we can take someone under our wing. You can, you can start with one child at a time, you know, and that child, you can influence that person who will influence someone else. I mean, you look at Paige and Lubens. I yes. mean, Lubens has a, a young lady named La Paige who mm -hmm. just happens to have the same <laughs> name, yes. but, um, and he helps her, you mm -hmm. know, he makes sure that she does her homework on time. You She's know. also in the program, correct? She's also in the right. program. They mm -hmm. met in the, in the drop back in Academy. Wow. But, you know, just to be supportive of each other. And a lot of times, unfortunately, in the classroom, I find that, the, unfortunately, some parents are not very supportive of mm. their children. And I think um, today, kids have too many choices. I often tell the students in my classroom, I said, maybe one of the problems is that you had a choice 
whether to go to school or not. And mm -hmm. that should not be a choice. No, it, it really should, should not, not be mean. a choice. It yeah. wasn't. Like, as you exactly. said, you know, years before, that you do it, and that's what you and do, that and that's it. part of life. There's that's no right. other option to right. stay home. That's right. And the exposure. We're starting to take our, um, our students on more college trips because it's that early exposure, you yeah. know, because you can talk about something and mm -hmm. talk about it, and then if they don't, they don't see it with their own eyes and see other students like that look like them or have been mm -hmm. through the similar circumstances to know that they survived. I mean, Lubin doesn't know it yet, but he's going to be touring with us, you know, yes. <laughs> well, see, and sharing but, his experience. But that's the whole thing. You guys represent um, a role model of mm -hmm. the other side of it. It's not just right. a doomed situation. Right. You don't just that's end right. up with well, you've dropped out and now that's it. Mm -hmm. You know, yes, you have. Right. You, yeah. you, that's wonderful. Mm -hmm. And so often that was also the thought, oh, I've dropped out of school. Well, you know, what good is a GED? Exactly. You mm -hmm. actually are able, there are programs available and out there for our viewing audience where you can actually get a diploma and you can go on to college and you can have those opportunities available mm -hmm. to you. And it's not a, a, a dead end situation. Some of the things that um, that were interesting to me that I had found one thing, there was a research done in California, and they found that each annual wave of high school dropouts oh, yeah. actually cost the state. A dropout cost the state over $40 billion over the course of their lives. Right. Wow. You didn't know that. Is that not crazy? That. As a dropout, why? Because now you can't get employment. Right. You aren't educated enough to get a great job and become a, a, a participant in society, so then mm. you end up relying upon the, the system, system. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and and you know there's so much more as you are experiencing and as you're going to find out right and that's what we need to get out there as a message to these people right that's right mm -hmm. and it becomes a vicious cycle it can you know if you can't if you don't get your diploma you're stuck in a job yes you know and you get very frustrated that increases the opportunity for someone to get exposed to crime to you know to not want to do anything with their lives it causes depression it causes all types of different things it's and, a vicious and sicknesses cycle. it is a very vicious cycle and that's why it's so important to have that foundation of education in order to you know better your life and and have a better future and I want to thank you all for being here with us and for mm -hmm. being guests sharing your personal thank stories you, and thank all you. of your wealth of information and mm -hmm. for those of you in the viewing audience we're going to have all of this information on mychristianfilms.org we'll have links to be able to get a hold of drop back in academy mm -hmm. along with the um, alternatives unlimited we want to make sure that you set a foundation for yourself and don't give up on yourself and don't give up on your education. Coming up, we have Stacy and Vinny with our music and entertainment program, along with another performance by one. Thanks for tuning in for your entertainment update right here on Craze. Yes, we're excited to be back this week. We've got a lot going on. We got movies coming out. We got top charts of music. I mean, I, I don't know. Where, where should we start, Stacey? You help me out on this okay, one. Okay, let me help you out. Okay. Let's start with DVD releases coming out. The Grace nice. Card and Soul Surfer. That's right. They're both out on DVD right now. So if you miss them in theaters, or maybe just want to watch them again, this is your chance to go out and get them. Soul Surf, I will definitely grab that one, Stacey. I've seen that twice already in the movie theater. I love movies that are based on true stories, and that is one of them. So I'm definitely going to grab that and watch that a couple times at the house. Yeah, before but you get too wrapped up into Soul Surfer, you might want to go to the theater and watch Courageous. The movie is going to be awesome. It tells the story of four guys who all have the same calling, which is to protect and serve. Protect and serve, Stacey. I don't mean to interrupt you, but we're talking about law enforcement here. Because that's what they do, right? Yes, Vinny. You go talking about law enforcement. Thank you. However, it's not so much the job in law enforcement that's the challenge. It's facing fatherhood. Fatherhood could be a challenge, definitely, to fathers out there. Yes, I feel you. Um, but Courageous, I know, is going to be action-packed. It's Sherwood's fourth film. I know they did the other one, which is my favorite, Fireproof. Love that movie. So I know this movie's not going to let us down. So be sure to check that out. It's in theaters. I'm going to check it out. And I know... All right, Vinny, we got you. We got you. Another film to check out is The Help. Okay. Oh, Follows yes. the story of three extraordinary women who start their own movements and change the way women view one another. Heart-wrenching stories set in the 1960s. Really good. It's going to be good. I had a couple friends actually check that one out and they said it was awesome. So I'm going to be sure to check that one out too. Awesome. Excellent date night movie. What? what? Date night movie? No, 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 no. You guys want to see Courageous. Take the girls out to see Courageous for a date night movie. Or yeah. they can both be really good date night movies. Just a thought. 
Yeah, we can work together on that one. That sounds good. How about music? Let's go to the music. Um, my boy coming in at number one, Chris Tomlin with his song, I Lift My Hands, on the Billboard charts. Coming in at number two is Jeremy Camp with uh, My Way. Number three is Jamie uh, Grace with her new single, um, which is her new single is... It's hold Me. Hold Me. Hold Me. Awesome Date single. Night Movie, Hold Me. I like that. Okay. <laughs> Number four is Mercy Me, my favorite band, um, with their song Move. And topping off the five charts there with uh, number five is Stephen Curtis Chapman with his song um, Do Everything. And I just done everything without a teleprompter here. Are you proud yeah, of this, Yeah, he almost did it one breath, too. Super almost. impressive. Yes. But to that list, we need to add Matt Kearney's album, mm -hmm. Young Love. Debuted at number one on the chart, being out... Skillet, and also Hillsong. He beat them too? He did. Wow, very impressive, Matt. Very proud of you. That's like a force to be reckoned with we're dealing with here, like Star yeah. Wars, you know? Yeah, like Star Wars. I was just thinking that same exact thing. Really? Yeah. No, not actually, really. So. You were messing with me. I was okay. messing with you. Okay. Well, guys, that's all the time we have for today. I'm Stacy. And I'm Vinny, and we had a blast. We'll see you next week. Right here on Craze. We're here with one husband and wife team, Rico and Chantel Morissette. It's so wonderful to have you guys on the show. Thanks for being here. here. Yeah. Um, it's such a pleasure. And what I wanted to do is uh, just let the audience know a little bit about you and how you guys came to be one. Well, um, actually, we, we met doing ministry. We met doing what we love, which is music, which is that's where God uses us to minister to youth, adults, and things of that nature. Um, Things one thing that one thing led to another, and you know the two became one, as we always say. Um, God has used us mightily in ministry as well. You know we've had our hard times, our hardships as um, a married couple, but um, our passion is to see young young people, old people, middle aged people, married people, single people, kids in school, and things of that nature saved. You know, and um, living a redeemed life. You know, because that's what that's what Christ offers us. So that's our passion. That is so yeah. wonderful, and I think it's such a blessing that you two are doing this together as a family, yeah. and that you are. You are role models to rep you know, represent the ability to do something Absolutely. together. When God calls you together, He purposes you together as well. Absolutely. And um, this CD that you have right now is actually Chantel's CD. It's Miss Lady, and this is the one that is available. You folks can go on to their websites. Um, what is the websites again? Um, cdbaby.com backslash Chantel Morissette and uh, Chantel Morissette, uh, MissLadyMusic.com. That's right. And that should be at the um, bottom of the screen so you folks can go ahead and get a hold of this CD. And then you're working and collaborating um, as one to get your CD out. And that's going to be out sometime in 2012. 2012. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. So, yes, ma folks, you can get a hold of that and be able to look out for that. And I want to thank you both so much for being here. And you're going to perform again. So, viewing audience, don't go anywhere. I do want to thank you for tuning into Craze. And if you have a testimony or an issue that you'd like us to tackle, write into craze at mychristianfilms.org. Good or bad, know that you have a voice and it should be heard. Closing us out is one performing from Chantel's title track, Miss Lady. even unto ourselves, Father God. Thank you for the words of this song, Father God. This song is called Miss Lady. It's simply a testimony of my life. And if you're going through something right now, just listen to the words and know that God delivers. Miss Lady, you ain't got to struggle no more. Miss Lady, you ain't got to suffer no more. Miss Lady, you ain't got to hustle no more. We've been man do for the night, but you'll come in the morning, lady. You ain't got to suffer no more. Miss Lady, you ain't got to hustle no more. Miss Lady, you ain't got to struggle. I, I, I. We've been man do for the night. See them predicaments you think you in for good is temporary. Get into it, Christ, he'll resurrect your mind up out that cemetery. Give me carry Keisha, Mika, Bula, Tease. Don't listen to your haters, listen to it. He said he gave his life, the price was prepaid despite the way strife might look tonight. We saved, 
And he already made a way out of no way for them bills. So make your ramen noodles all of garden and just chill, Miss Lady, Miss Lady. You ain't gotta struggle no more, Miss Lady. You ain't gotta suffer no more, Miss Lady. You ain't gotta suffer no more, Miss Lady. You ain't gotta hustle out. We've been made enough for the night, but you're coming this morning. Listen, I came to tell you the good news. I came to tell you the good news. The word of God. I came to tell you the good news. I came to tell you the good news. Listen, you see, you're coming out the wilderness, going to the promised land. Understand, you can't get that hundredfold with under hands, but praying ones will get you. Giant slaying ones, mountain movers, burden removers, and tired paying ones. So praise him for your spiritual prosperity. Praise him. You see your test is now a testimony. Praise him. You have been cleansed of your iniquities. Praise and worship him through Jesus Christ. Your life is guaranteed. You ain't got to suffer no more, Miss Lady. You ain't got to struggle no more, Miss Lady. You ain't got to hustle. Why? We've been laying no for the night, but you're coming the morning, lady. You ain't got to struggle no more, Miss Wake up this morning, Miss Lady. It's morning. You can wake up this morning, Miss Lady. It's morning. Gotta leave the 99 just to find that one lost sheep. It was me, myself, and how did I find God? He found me. I was once blind. Now I see. My father, forget the fame. I want to get closer to him. I want to go higher to the Messiah returns. We learn to know what your whole vagina or we burn eternally. Infirmities, infirmary, eternally. I need your word. 